Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with the next flip flop, that is the JK flip flop. JK flip flop. All right. Okay. Now you see what is drawn over here. This is the truth table for the SR flip flop. And this is its logical diagram. All right. Now, what is the use of this JK flip flop or why are we studying it? So you see that. Mm, when we talk about the S or flip-flop, so when both the inputs are 1, I mean in this case, you cannot determine the next state. Sometimes it will be giving you a 0, sometimes it's giving us a 1, as we've seen it in the detailed discussion of the S or flip-flop. You know this, okay? Now, we want to overcome this condition. For that, for that, we are introducing the new flip-flop, that is this, JK flip flop that this QN plus 1 is no more invalid when both the inputs are 1. How do we do that? For that, we do what? This Q uh, input, now we have another feedback, okay? This Q is now given as a feedback to this gate, okay? And this Q complement, this is given as a feedback to the very first gate. So we have introduced a new feedback and now these S and R can be replaced by J, K. So this becomes your J and this becomes your K. Similarly, in the truth table now, you can replace it by what? Uh, where's the duster? Here it is. So you can replace this now. All right. And you can also wait a minute. So I say now this is the truth table for J, K, flip flop. And now for the invalid, what do we have for this invalid? So that is what we need to find out now. All right. Okay. The rest of the truth table is the same as it is and you can prove it by yourself by giving it inputs let's say for example i have some cases for you let's say when the clock is zero so what would be qn plus one it's it, it's it's the memory state all right okay now when the clock is one your j is zero k is one let's say when both of them are zero, that will be again the memory. In this case, in this case, QN plus one would be what? So you can find it out. In this case, your QN plus one would be zero. All right, as we have over here, it would be zero. You can find it out from this table, which I am not doing, all right? I am only taking the important case that is when clock is 1, the J is 1 and K is 1. In that case, what do we have the value of Q and what do we have the value of Q complement? Okay. For that, so for that I will be doing it. Okay, let's assume, let's assume that previously we had over here 0 at the out. This is assumption. Let's say I had zero over here previously, which makes Q complement equal to one. Now this is what, this is the previous result, all right? We'll be giving it as a feedback to the next, with the next input. Now, now what do we have? This, this, this Q has been fed over here. So this is zero over here, all right? This K is one and clock is one. Now this Q complement is over here, it's 1, it's J is also 1, and the clock is also 1. Is that clear till here? Okay. Now when all of them are 1, you have J1, K, uh, sorry, you have all the three inputs to the NAND gate equal to 1, so the output would be 0, which means over here you have a 0. And this Q complement is also reflected over here, which means you have a 1 now. Now the 0, 1... The NAND operation will give you what? It will give you 1. It will give you 1. So you have your Q equal to 1. 
Now this one is reflected back over here and the output of this NAND gate is what? You have 1, 1, 0. So the output of this NAND gate would be 1 and then one, when, when is 1 is NANDed with 1, so the output is 0. Okay, now what happens? Uh, let me write this with this blue color. Now what happens? So let's have a look for the green color. Now again, there, uh, this, this is a circuit going on until the clock has been brought to the low state. The clock is at the high state yet, so which means this Q and Q complement will go back as the feedbacks. All right, so now this 1 and 0 are given as a feedback back. And I told you before also, whenever you see a 1, you operate that first. This is not a hard and fast rule. This is just for simplicity. Fine. Now this one, have a look. This is over here. This is Q. This connected to the feedback over here. This comes 1 over here. 1, 1, 1. NAND operation gives you a 0. All right. This one is also over here. Fine. Now this 1, 0 will give you a what? 1, 0 will give you a 1. NAND operation. This will give you a 1. All right. Now this one as a feedback is connected over here. And this uh, previously, this 0 was also connected over here. This green color. All right, so now this 0, 0, 0 will give you a what? Uh, 0, 1, 1 will basically give you a 1, and now this 1, 1 end operation will give you a 0. So now if you're seeing, so this is continuously changing from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0 back and forth, and we don't know when is it stopping. Well, basically we know that. We know when the clock is put to the low state, this will stop, all right? But we don't have a control over it until and unless the clock has been put to zero. Let's say if I, uh, so, so I hope you are clear with this. If you still are not, so you can take one another cycle. When you have uh, this one treated as a feedback over here, this zero treated as a feedback over here, then again you will get the complements, which means that this thing is, uh, is, doing, like, is doing like what? Q is happening to be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on. And similarly, Q complement is acting as 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. They are, they are complementing and uncontrolled complementing. But still, we don't have an invalid case, and I can replace it over here by a Q and complement. Now, what is this Q and complement? When it, it changes from the previous state to the next state is a Q and complement, this is called toggling. This is called toggling. But when it changes once, all right? This condition that it is continuously changing, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, we have an uncontrolled chain. This change is called the race around condition. The race around condition. All right, which we see in a great detail in the next video, all right? And now we see the excitation table and the characteristic table for this uh, JK flip-flop. So for that, let me remove these, okay? Okay, so this is what? This is the truth table. Now, with the help of the truth table, we, desire, we, we define the characteristic table. Let's say CH represents the characteristic. It has a very long spelling, okay? Characteristic table. And you know what the characteristic table is. In this, you have the, the present inputs that are the QN, J, and K. And with the help of these, we define the present, the, the next state, all right? So we have three inputs, so we can have three to the power three is equal to eight total uh, input combinations. So let me draw them. You have a zero, zero, one, okay? Zero, zero, zero first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. And then finally three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now have a look, okay? We're drawing it with the help of the truth table. Now, JK, when they are 0, 0, the memory state is retained, which means this is equal to 0. QN is retained, all right? 
when you have 0, 1, the next state is 0. When you have 1, 0, the next state is again 1. Now, if you have 1, 1, so it will complement it, which means Qn was 1, Qn was 0, so you have the next state is 1. Now, again, when it is 0, 0, so you have the memory state, now in this case, 1. Fine. When it is 0, 1, it is, the output is 0. When it is 1, 0, the output is 1. And again, when it is 1, 1, so it will give the complement. In this case, it's 1, so the output, so the next state would be 0. That is the, that is the what now? The characteristic table. Now the excitation table. In the excitation table, you have what? You have the previous output, you have the present output, and you find the present inputs with the help of that, which means you have Qn and Qn plus 1 as the inputs, and the outputs are J and K. Only so you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 as the input combinations, and we draw it with the help of this characteristic table. Fine. Now when it's a 0, 0, so which means we have the first two cases, these two cases, 0, 0. So j is 0 and k is changing 0 and 1, so we place a don't care, fine? Now blue color. When we have 0 and 1, so which means the next two cases, qn is 0 and k plus 1 is 1, so you have, uh, now you have j equal to 1 and k is again changing from 0 to 1, so you place a don't care again. When Qn is 1 and Qn plus 1 is 0, so let's say this, this green color represents this case and this case. So in this case, you have J changing from 0 to 1, so you have a don't care, and for K, you have 1. All right? And now finally, when both of them are 1, so let's say this black color represents, and in this case, we have J again changing from 0 and 1, and the K is equal to 0. So that's the excitation table. Now you can do what? You can find the value of Qn plus 1 from this characteristic table and you can find the values of J and K from the excitation table. If you want me to do it for you, so, so I can. So let me do it, all right? Okay, so now this, is a, this would be a 60, uh, this would be an 8 cell map, uh, which is like this. Okay, two, four, six, and eight. Over here you have Q, N, J, and K, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, and one. Now fill it, okay? So you have a zero, zero, one, 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 zero, one, zero. Fine? Now you know the groupings, all right? But still, but still, let, let me do it, okay? So, <clears throat> this is, let's say, the first group. And, and this is what? This is for QN plus 1. So, this group now represents a QN complemented and J. All right, then an OR and from the, from the side. So, over here you have QN and you have K complement. And similarly, you can have the values of J and K from there, which are so easy that are only four variables map, and you can find them for yourself. That's all about the JK flip-flop. That's all about today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.